Hey, you right team, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. So today we're gonna to be doing a run, an LSD, so a long, slow duration run. But before we get into it, always ensure you do a good warm up. So I like to do some jogging and a few exercises just to get the blood flowing, get my body used to running. Uh, I'll show you them now. So like I said, I like to do running from around five to 10 minutes, get the heart rate up, and then there's about four exercises that I like to do. The first one's gonna be high knees. I like to do a bit of high knees, but making sure you're working on getting the balls of your feet hitting the floor. Okay, it's not just about raising your knees up, it's about ensuring that you plant your feet firmly on the floor with the balls of your feet getting used to that running pattern. Also like to do some walking lunges. It really opens up my hips, get the quads working and the hamstrings. I really feel a stretch, especially to open up my hip flexors. Then I just like to do some squats, get some mobility in the knees and then just some hamstring sort of work, some straight leg stretches, okay, so little straight leg kicks to get the hamstrings all warm. That's the warm up done then. So there are a few exercises that I like to do. It's really important you raise that heart rate, okay? Get the blood flow in, get your body moving, joints, muscles, get it all lubricated, get it working. Okay, it's gonna help you have a better session. And it's also gonna help prevent injury. nice steady run today then like I said about seven on the RPE scale okay so rate of perceived exertion so it's just basically a good scale to work out how hard you're working whether you need to increase the intensity whether you need to lower it and then you can track your runs like that um, for future sessions and you can plan around that I use it quite a bit of my clients so seven is pretty challenging so it's getting quite hard now, so five's about challenging. Um, seven, you should be able to talk with the odd sentence, like you should be able to say a sentence, um, but you're struggling to speak. You're not gonna be able to hold a full conversation. So that's what we're doing today. Just gonna stung. My knee on a sting and L. How'd you do? You forget how annoying and painful that is. And it's just getting worse every time I just put my foot on the floor. Ah! No. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's not what you want ever getting in a run. It should go soon though. Who's been out training today? Let us know in the comment section. So two miles in, first mile, 8.40, still part of the warm-up, second mile, 7.11. So as you can tell by my voice, I wouldn't be able to hold a full conversation, but I can get sentences out. So it's about a seven for me at the minute. I don't want to take it much further than this, not on the run today.
So, third and fourth mile, 707, and I think it was just 717. So we're doing good, good pace. Not long to go now. So I know there's an incline coming up in a second. So many people let it beat them before they even get there. Just don't, it's just a hill, it will end. Just keep going. You most probably will stay down. Don't stop, never give up. Let's attack it. So we're at the top, you just gotta keep driving. Don't stop. When you get to the top, keep moving, shake your legs out. So there we are. That's today's run done. 6.2 miles, 10K, nice and steady, about 47 minutes. The last miles were 7.30 for mile five, 7.44 for mile six. So really happy with that. I had a bit of time without running because work was so busy and life was so busy. So I'm getting back in running. So it's near and near the fastest I've been this year. Um, but hopefully I can get back into a routine because I had pretty much a month off. So I lost a little bit. Uh, plus the heat, I felt really hot. My mouth was dry. I didn't hydrate enough as I should today, but just in this weather, you've got to be careful. Even going running at this time in the evening, it's still too hot. So let's get back and cool down. Always remember to hydrate and cool down. Oh, it's so hot out there. Cheers. So we're going to start off, sit down, relax. You can do these stretches standing up if you want to, but you can do them sitting down and relax, so why not? When doing this, even though I've got my hands on my toes, don't actually pull on your toes. So just reach past till you feel mild discomfort in your legs. Cold showers. Last does it. Seriously good. Helps recovery. Great for the immune system. And just as David Goggins says, do something uncomfortable every day. Have a cold shower every day. You'll feel better. If you haven't got to start off cold, I have like a warm shower and then finish off cold. Chase after your dreams, come on. Just go and get on. That's a minute right there, time to get out. So when it's all cooled down, you know, I'm relaxed from my run. I like to get a little something in me. Um, so in the mornings, I have reflex nutrition creatine. If I don't take it in the mornings, I'll take it after I've worked out. It doesn't really benefit me uh, when I'm running, but I just take that daily for when I'm strength training or do any sort of explosive sprint work. That's a reflex. If you want to use code PZ Holman 610, that gets you up to 40% off. And then today we are using the salted caramel combat fuel vegan protein.
Best one I've most probably tasted. For a vegan anyway, it's not powdery. 23.7 grams of protein per serving, 0.17 grams of fat, 1.8 grams of carbs, so it's worth having. One best pro vegan protein, so if you don't like whey, then give that a shit. Give that a go. So then, just gonna quickly talk about the trainers that I use for training at the minute. These are just the main pair I get at the minute because my other trainers are ruined. So I will be buying another pair alongside these. But these are the On Running Cloud Flow. So you can go and check them out at On Running. These are the Cloud Flow. Cloud Flow. They are £138. The heel to toe is 6 mil. They weigh 238 grams. So they're nice and light really comfortable really soft i'm not going to go into a full in-depth review i need to do some more research on trainers before i start giving you a review on trainers i just want to show you what i'm using just over a month now uh, someone's going to really use them before i let you know what, what they're like and i definitely rate them really good you can just put them on and go i remember my first one in them i think i did four miles just to test them out and see how they were and they're really good they are best for so you're more faster sort of training. So this is why I want to buy another set for my slower runs. Um, but these are good for fast sort of training. So if you're doing racing, you're doing some 5Ks, 10Ks, even half marathons, marathons. Because they're a moderate sort of feel on the floor. And they're made for road. Um, and you can basically, medium distances is what they're really good for. But you can do shorter and longer. But they're made for a more faster paced run. So I find, do find these good when I'm doing my sort of tempo threshold runs or a faster runs but they are good on a slow runs but i am going to buy a new set of trainers i'm going to do a bit of research and i'm more than likely going to stick with on and i'm not sponsored by them they've not paid me to do this uh, these are just a pair of trainers i got for my birthday i really like them and i'm more than likely going to get another pair of them for my longer um, sort of it sessions and my easy sessions so that's what i'm using on running cloud flow 130 pounds go and check them out thanks for watching my video Give us a thumbs up if you liked it, it really helps the video. Click that subscription button and I'll see you soon.